The molten rock stored beneath volcanoes, called magma, contains dissolved gases which are released during eruptions or emitted when the volcano is quiet, escaping through the soil, hot springs, lakes and gas vents, called fumaroles. There are several types of volcanic gas. Some form a cloud that looks like fog, known as fog. Other times, the gases are invisible. The most common gas is water vapor or steam. Steam plumes can often be seen reaching high into the atmosphere above volcanoes. There can be substantial amounts of other gases, which can sometimes be toxic to people and animals and damage crops and property. Carbon dioxide is colorless and odorless. This means you can't see or smell it. It is heavier than air, so can collect in low-lying areas, lakes and confined spaces. Even short exposure to too much carbon dioxide can cause unconsciousness and death. Other gases contain sulfur. These are colorless, but some have a strong smell like rotten eggs. Sulfurous gases irritate your skin, eyes, nose and throat. The smell can act as a warning, but it disappears at high concentrations when it becomes highly toxic, causing unconsciousness and death. Long-range hazards can form when gases react with rainwater to form acid rain and sunlight in the atmosphere to create particles which can cause health impacts, even hundreds of kilometers from the volcano. Large eruptions can produce such enormous amounts of gas that the world's climate can be affected for years as the gas acts to block out some of the sun's energy. Persistent plumes of volcanic ash may cause long-term damage to agriculture and to people's health. Even at low levels, some gases can continue to have a harmful effect and adaptations can be made to live with this hazard. Eventually, gases become diluted with air and are no longer harmful. Scientists monitor volcanic gases during and between eruptions. Monitoring can allow for warnings when gas levels are potentially hazardous.